Right, so welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the to the Mini R53 Cooper S. Stuck in London traffic, as per usual. Thank you, Sadiq. Um, so today, it's just gonna be a little, go out for a little drive in the Mini. I've been working so much, so I haven't really had a chance to drive it. I did get a chance to go out for a drive the other day, but I chose to go out in the TT, because I've been neglecting it, and it's fast, and I love it. So <laughs> I went in the TT instead. But today I thought, let me get the Mini out, give it a little run out, because I haven't really drove it a lot since I bought it. My missus has been driving it, so she's enjoying it, liking it, but I haven't had a chance to do so. I thought, I've got to go somewhere quick, so let me jump in it. And I thought, while I'm in it, why don't we make a little video, seeing as I haven't really drove it, we'll call this a first drive video. Ooh, there we go, yeah, great. We'll call this a first drive video, if these people decide to learn how to drive, and we'll, um, and we'll drive along and, and have a little chat. I tell you what, the thing I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to talk about is the clutch in this car. Now, people can get in the comments and tell me, other owners, people that know about these, because people have been very helpful with this car so far, on a couple of little issues that I've got. But the clutch on this car is literally on or it's off. There's no, no length in it at all. It is just that like, good doom. So, I don't know if it's because the previous owner have been dumping the clutch a lot. I know on a car before so someone kept doing that and then messed up the clutch and made it sort of feel like the one in this car. But it's it's a nightmare. It's gonna have to 100 percent be changed. Cause it is just like you get out of this car with a sore leg when you drove around the shop. That makes no sense. So that that is the first, first, first thing. Second thing, and it ain't even doing it now, so hopefully the sound will be alright in the video. But this car squeaks and rattles like you would not believe. Everything in this car rattles. So, but hopefully when we start taking it apart and stuff, it will, some of them problems just get fixed. Now the fact of taking it apart, putting it back together. And I'm sure we'll create a few more. Um, what else? Stereo in this car is atrocious. It's just a normal CD player, FM stereo, but it's just it's just not good. The, the, for some reason as well, I'm gonna do a five things I love, five things I hate video, but I just I'll quickly give you a little preview. This, the volume knob on the stereo is tiny. Like if you're grabbing for it while you're driving, honestly, it's like it's like pinching someone's nipple. It's ridiculous. Like I, I, honestly, I don't know. I'll put a. You're seeing the five things I love, five things I hate, but yeah, I don't know why it just reminds me of a nipple. It's, 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 yeah, <laughs> less than the, the better, I suppose. Um, does it does like petrol as well? Seems so like a bit of petrol, but uh, to be expected, I suppose. It's the way I drive, I'm sure. Um, I've noticed reading on the forums and stuff a few of the, the, the common problems. My expansion tank needs replacing, it's completely brown. The seal in the lid is gone, the rubber seal on the petrol cap is gone, so they both need replacing. Uh, wheel bearings at the back need replacing but I already have those just need to get them fitted top mounts on the suspension need replacing but I already have those they they just need to get fitted stereo I already have replacement unit I already have I think the next purchase is going to be the, uh, the better front grille so mine's got like the slats I want the like nicer one everyone's got right so that'll be the next next mod I think um, as for driving, no, I, li I like it. It's, this steering wheel is horrible. I've got the one spoke sort of wheel. This will be getting changed just for the mini three spoke wheel for now. Maybe we'll get a custom one made, like I've got in the TT. We'll see, we'll see how the project goes. It's that's an expensive, expensive part. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll wait and see. But um, this wheel's got to go, it's, it's just disgusting. It's horrible to look at, it's horrible to, It's quite, it's, I mean, it feels right here, but once you get that in, it's massive, it's fat and bulbous, it's just, it's not, it's not attractive, so that's going. Um, but yeah, I mean, to drive, I mean, we ain't going nowhere fast here, but to drive, I like it, it's, 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 it's a nice car. I did drive it back, I bought it from up north, so I bought it from like Derby. So I did drive it back from Derby to London, so that was a, that was a decent drive, but like I said, since then I haven't drove it at all. Um, but I do like it. I think once that clutch is sorted, I mean brakes are perfect, pulls, accelerates fine. I think once the little few 
problems are fixed because it makes a couple of rattles and squeaks and bangs and clunks and underneath the front on like the front like, like underneath there's like a hang down of a bit of plastic hangs around about that much about three inch and it scrapes on every single speed bump why it's there i can't see a reason for it for any reason this will scrape on bumps that the tt won't scrape on which is just absolutely ridiculous since the tt is going to be like a sports car inside back so that uh, that's getting chopped off i'm chopping it i'm chopping it off um yeah, I'm dropping it off. You see, you will see that on a video. It'll be a whole video, but you'll see it on a video somewhere of me. I'm gonna get the Dremel out and cut that straight off because it's just annoying and ridiculous. Um, yeah, pop. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, I like it. I like it. it's a decent car truck. I do need to drive it more, but I really want to start the mods on this. That's the whole reason I bought this is because there's a lot more mods I can do to this than I want to do to the TT. The TT is obviously like my good car my, my 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 proper car so i don't want to go too crazy on tt plus at some point i want to sell the tt that's going to be a video coming up but i want to sell the tt so it's just uh i don't want to go too mad and then make it so like only one person in the world would ever want to buy it this back to this it goes in and out it goes in the gears like well enough like i said i do want to get like a cool works shifter for the car it goes in that gears, it stops firing. I mean, it's got the, the, for me, the bare bones are there in this car. You know what I mean? It, obviously this this is not like, I paid enough, like I paid a lot, of, not a lot of money for this car. It's a 2003 car. It's not got every mod con, but that's why we got it. It's, it's a project for the channel. So I can bang out videos, regular basis for all use lot to see, and we can just do the mods together. I can already see a problem here with the next mod, so that's going to be an issue, but that'll be in the next video. But, um, or the one after that, it's coming up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's just, it, like I said, when I first got the car, this is just literally for us just to do every mod we can think of. Preparing for why I save money for the replacement car for the TT, which I still don't know what it's going to be, but yeah so that's what i'm saying so yeah let me know in the comments if there's anything i should particularly look out for or anything i should particularly like like get into and see see if see if it's all right on this particular car like i said people told me about look at the fuel cap told me about look at the expansion tank which i did and they're both new replacing so that was really helpful so yeah if anyone's got any ideas on anything i should look at anything i might need to change please get on to me I'm thinking about wrapping the car, if anyone's got any, any cool ideas, something they ain't seen before. Um, stereo, obviously, speaker upgrades, changing like carbon fiber and everything. So yeah, if anyone's got any any chairs, I'm thinking of changing the seats, maybe put some bucket seats in it. I've never had a car bucket seat, always wanted one. So yeah, for tuning, stuff like that. If anyone's got any ideas, any, any, any good advice, get on to me in it and if anyone wants to collab or anything or like i always say if anyone wants to put their car or their mini on the channel let me know i'd love to come and have a look like feature it on the channel so yeah just stay with me for this journey like i said it's just a start i've been super busy but there is parts piling up in my house as we speak the tires for this car stereos uh, wheel bearings top mounts it's all sitting there ready to go so I'm gonna be ordering the clutch, I'm gonna be ordering the front grille. So we're gonna it's gonna be a process, but we're gonna get there. So yeah, stay tuned. Keep liking, keep subscribing. The support lately has been amazing. Subscribers are growing, which is which is wonderful. Uh views are growing, which we're I think we're up to about 70 something thousand views now on the channel, which is amazing. Keep it going. And just yeah, if there's anything you want to see, particularly with this car, I do want to take it on a track. Now things looks like in England, thank God, things are gonna start opening again. So our trip to the Nürburgring will be back on. I'm gonna try and take both the cars with me to Germany if possible. If I can find someone else I trust enough to drive. Well, it'll be this car, because I'm driving a TT, so yeah. So yeah, we'll try and take both the cars over to the ring. Um, yeah, and we'll be hitting tracks here and doing all that stuff. So 
yeah, just stay with me for the journey, and I'll, I'll um, this is just a quick one today. But like I said, five things I love, five things I hate video is coming on this car. That'll be a full proper video. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you on the next video.